Hello guys, on this channel this week we're talking about the new Filament 3 version new features and topic of today is multiple panels. So I want to show you something. A new project in Filament 3 and I log in as admin and a typical dashboard with managing for example locations. But then if I log out and for example I change the URL from admin to user, I get another login form with different styling and also with registration. So sign up for an account, fake filler Chrome extension will fill in for us, sign up and then I land on the user dashboard with different menu items, different styling, different navigation so it's not on the left but on the top and I can create for example memberships. So now in Filament 3 it wasn't available in Filament 2 you can create multiple panels which means multiple dashboards or multiple websites per role or per whatever condition you want. In my case it's a simple example of admin versus user so users wouldn't even know the URL of admin panel for admins. It's not just for styling it may be just for security reasons. If we take a look at the documentation there's admin panel provider generated as the main panel provider but you can generate more panels with make filament panel and then each of them will have its own provider where you can configure each of those panels separately. So this is my example as you can see there's app providers filament and there are two files admin panel provider and user panel provider. Admin is almost unchanged the only thing that I've changed in all the configurations is discover resources. So by default it would be in filament resources but I wanted to separate it in terms of folders so there's filament admin resources and admin pages and admin widgets added here. Everything else is default and then in here you can configure many things. It's not directly about multiple panels you can use one panel and then configure a lot of stuff but as an example of multiple panels you would see the difference. So in user panel provider which I've generated later see it's a bit different ID of user then it's not the default so the default is still admin then the path is slash user and then I enabled registration profile enabled top navigation and changed the primary color and also discovery sources pages as you can see all have user namespaces user subfolder and then separately you work with app filament admin and app filament user resources. Another benefit of such provider based configuration instead of having like config panel or config something is it is auto completed with ID like PHP storm. So for example if you don't remember exactly how the method is called you can start typing rare and then oh registration. If you don't know any parameters PHP storm will help you with that as well. So similarly to other things in filament you can chain the configuration options like in column make or field make and then you chain all the options. Similarly here now you can chain such options and override a lot of things for each panel separately or if you're using one panel just easily change those values. You can find all the details and possible options and possible methods in the official filament documentation. I will not go manually through all of them but I will touch on at least the most commonly used in my course that I'm currently creating on filament 3 from scratch so you can follow that it's kind of live mode. I keep adding new text based lessons for now then it will be video and I have a promise to myself to add at least one new lesson per day so probably by the time this video airs there will be many more lessons published and I will link that course in the description below. It is available for all premium members of Laravel Daily. So this is multiple panels in Filament 3 and this week in upcoming videos we will talk about more new features in Filament 3. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos.